From ancient Chinese entertainment to record-breaking free falls, the journey of the parachute is nothing short of fascinating. Join us as we unravel this tale of courage, innovation, and gravity, defying leaps. Imagine China in the 12th century. For entertainment, brave souls leaped from towering heights using rigid umbrella like parachutes to break their fall. But the real evolution began centuries later. Fast forward to 1495. Leonardo da Vinci, the Renaissance genius, sketches a pyramid-shaped parachute intended as an escape tool from burning buildings. It remains uncertain whether this design ever left the paper. Now, enter the 18th century. Louis Sebastian Lenormand takes a daring leap, clutching not one, but two parasols. Shortly after J.P.P. P. Blanchard crafts the first non-rigid parachute, rumored to have tested it from a hot air balloon. 1797, Paris. The skies witness André Jacques Garnerin making numerous jumps from hot air balloons. With heights reaching 8,000 ft, these jumps weren't for the faint-hearted. But imagine a parachute ride so wild it made you airsick. In fact, Garnerin often felt nauseous post-jump. Thanks to French scientist Joseph Lelandes in 1804, a simple vent at the parachute's apex solved this turbulence issue. By the 20th century, America joined the parachute evolution. Charles Broadwick's ingenious design in 1901 ensured the parachute pack opened upon jumping. And by 1912, Captain Albert Berry took the first leap from a moving airplane. World War II revolutionized parachute use. Beyond saving pilots, they became crucial for troop deployment. Innovations continued, like Frank Derry's 1944 design, which allowed parachutists to steer midair. And then, in 1960, a moment to remember. Joe Kittinger testing for the U.S. Air Force's Project Excelsior ascended to 102,804. From this staggering height, he jumped, experiencing almost five minutes of free fall, reaching speeds of 714 MP. Kittinger's fall was a record-breaking 14 minutes. From humble beginnings to extreme sports, parachutes have changed how we touch the skies. Stay tuned for more tales of human innovation, and remember, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning.